Hi guys, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today in this episode, guys, this is a Reiki that I've been planning on doing for a couple of months now, and that is um, ranking all seven Mission Impossible movies from worst to best, as a matter of fact. So now, um, this was a Reiki video I promised back in February, but the reason why it took me so long to get this video out is because um, I haven't been able... Um, to set, I haven't been able to have the time to watch them all in preparation for this video, as a matter of fact. But since um since I have them watch since I've watched all of since I rewatch them now and my memory is refreshed, um I thought why not rank them right now as a matter of fact. So be sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with your friends because that really help out my channel greatly. And also, guys, those of you guys that are new to the channel, I do more than just um, movies and physical media related content. I also do um, Lego related stuff, and I also play video games. I do all sorts of stuff like that here on the channel. So if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube, guys, please make sure you go watch a couple of my other videos. Give a couple of my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys, please make sure you give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And leave a like in the comment and um, and um, those of you guys that are not new to the channel if you haven't subscribed already please make sure you go subscribe right after this video guys without any other ado guys enjoy the video let's get started and let me tell you this um the this franchise remains consistent in my opinion so so I don't think there is a bad Mission Impossible movie so coming in last place at number seven, what what's it gonna be? <laughs> Just think about it. What what movie do you think is what what movie do you think is going at the bottom of this list? Think about it. What do you what do you think? What do you guys think I'm about to say? It's Mission Impossible Two. Ah, you can't you can't fool it. You, I can't fool you guys. So now, so now, like I said, this franchise remains consistent. So I don't really think there is a bad Mission Impossible movie, but I will agree, though. This one is probably the worst one. And, um, and, and the thing is with Mission Impossible 2, it kind of has the weakest story um, compared to all the other Mission Impossible movies, and um, and um, all the action in this movie, um, all the action that plays out in this movie is very underwhelming. Like, it's not like, it's not like, oh my gosh, that was that was so epic. Like, um, like in all the other Mission Impossible movies. Um, um, yeah, I I like I said. I don't think there is a bad Mission Impossible movie. I don't think any of these movies are bad, but I will agree with you that um that that the um that the second one is probably the worst because um it, it has the weakest story and and um I and I feel very underwhelmed by the action in this movie as well but still it I still think it's a good movie but but it's easily the worst of the bunch in my opinion next up at number six I have to give it to the original um Mission Impossible the very first one at number six so now I actually see a lot of people um say that this one is better than Mission Impossible um, three, but, but I think, um, but I think the first one, um, it's better, it's better than the second one. There's a little bit of a gap between the second one, but, um, but with this one in particular, it feels very slow paced compared, um, to all of the other movies, um, in this, in this franchise. And... In particular, I don't think this is a. T I don't think this one should be in the top five, in my opinion, because it's really slow, and you you never see Tom Cruise, um, pick pick up a gun in this movie, and it's, 
it's just it and that's just odd to me like um like like in the first John Wick John Wick picks up a gun yeah um yeah and, and like the first usually in like the first movie in every action franchise you see your main action hero pick up a gun yes you do and my issue with with this one is it's slow and i don't particularly like this i don't well like i said there's not a bad mission impossible movie in here but but um but yeah in particular i don't think that this movie is quite as good as as a bunch of other movies that are on this list though next up at number five um i have to go with um mission impossible three so now out of the out of the first three mission impossible movies this one is probably um the the best one because because like because yes um yes i agree with a bunch of other people these movies just keep getting better and better and i think mission impossible 3 um on um i on the cover of the of the disc that um that i own um it's a, it says best, best mission impossible movie yet but personally i don't i don't particularly agree with that um because it's not the best mission impossible movie I, actually i am i can't think of anybody that have that has said this is the best mission impossible movie because it's not but but it is but it is a big improvement over the first two movies in my opinion because um um because i think this is like the first good movie where we get to see t ethan hunt fully in in action and i feel like that this that this is like the very first mission impossible movie to move in like a fast pace and to have good action in it with both of those at the same time because in the first movie it um it um it's it has a slower story but it has good action in it but but then it but then in the second one it um it has a fast-paced story but the but the action in the second one is weak yeah and um and all the other mission impossible movies including this one that are above the first two movies above that are above the first two movies sorry guys i stutter a lot that are above the first two movies actually have those two things they have a fast-paced story and good action in my opinion but but yes but yes um personally i prefer this one over the first two movies because this is where we start to see things get better but still it's not the best mission impossible movie in my opinion up next adam at number four reaching the heavy hitters and from this point on these are all top tier action movies in my opinion coming in at number four i have um mission impossible ghost protocol so now um with this one um yes um this movie was was an absolute blast um to watch in my opinion i like i liked it when he um when he um when he climbs the building um i can't remember the name i can't remember the name of the building uh i i can't remember the name of the building at all but but he but he but what he was doing he was climbing the tallest um building in the world and that was a really cool scene to watch and i liked how that particular scene is shot and the action in this movie the storyline in this movie it's it's better it's better than the first three like like um like i said um after the second one these movies just keep getting better and better and better and better and the same cape same thing goes 
from with Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol because yeah, I really do enjoy Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol as well. But the other but the next three movies that are on this list take take the case for me over Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, but it's still just as good as the first three in my opinion. So coming at number three is going to be Mission Impossible Fallout. So now, um, I hear a lot of people actually put this one as number one. But it's not quite number one um, for me. But I, I really enjoyed this movie, though. Because um, I like um, I like the whole chase scene when they're in when they're in Paris. I really like I really like that scene a lot, especially when he uses a parachute um, like on the mountain, and that whole helicopter chase scene is um, is pretty good too. But but yeah, um, this movie is just as good as Mission Impossible: Ghost Protocol, in my opinion. And the next two movies that I have on this list like like I said so yeah this movie is pretty good in um in my opinion um I I will disagree though that it's not like the best Mission Impossible movie but but it it's at num but it's at number three on this list and and so it and so in that case this movie is pretty high up there with these other Mission Impossible movies and yeah I really do like this movie a lot but I but I do not think it's the best Mission Impossible movie like a lot of you other people do our runner-up at number two is Mission Impossible Rogue Nation so now um, a lot of you guys are are probably a little bit shocked that I have this one at number two because I I see people put this one a little bit lower on their list, but personally, in my in my um, and but to be honest, guys, this is this was like the first Mission Impossible movie that I have ever watched because I wanted to watch an action movie one night with my dad back when this movie came out, and we chose to watch um this movie, and um and even though I watched this one first, I still adore this movie um to date the whole action sequence at the opera is pretty cool um the whole motorcycle chase is pretty cool as well and um what's also really good about this movie is i like how tom cruise dives into that open hole that that like spreads out water and whatnot so he can switch the chips um so simon pegg's character can get through um, to to steal something that's for a mission. I can't remember what it is exactly, but but I remember I remember they um um they have to they were getting in there um to steal something as a matter of fact and um and yeah um I enjoy this movie and like I said this is the first Mission Impossible movie I have ever watched in my entire life and. I still think that this movie is pretty darn good um to date. And yeah. I um I this this is one of the most rewatched Mission Impossible movies in my opinion and I can I can sit and say nothing but great things about this movie so far. But for me easily coming in the first place I have to give it to Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 as a matter of fact man what um what a fantastic movie for being the seventh entry in um in your fran in your franchise and I cannot wait to see part 2 to this movie and I heard part 2 and I'm hoping part two will, will be just as good as this movie because that's how much I'm hoping that that that's how much I'm hoping that this movie is going to be. I hope that this movie brings, I hope Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2 brings the joy, the satisfaction, 
and all of the cool stunts that Tom Cruise did in this movie but and make them just as good as this one because the whole car chase in the middle of the movie is pretty good um and when he jumps off the cliff on his motorcycle that scene is beautifully shot and i like it and the whole train sequence i really like as well like like yeah in my opinion this is the best mission impossible movie yet and in my opinion it's the best mission impossible movie so far and i am excited to see this franchise continue and and yeah i am i am on pins and needles waiting for for dead reckoning part two and maybe after part two they'll they'll do another movie but but i also i also hear some people say it's possible that they can bring the tv show back after they do after they after Dead Reckoning Part 2, as a matter of fact, and I can, excuse me, I can definitely see that, but I have not watched um, the Mission Impossible show um, that was on back in the day at all. I've just seen all of these movies, but if it does, if it does return to TV, um, I cannot wait to see it, and I hope they, I hope they bring back Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt if they were if they were to bring this back as a TV show after Dead Reckoning Part Two, but yeah, so far, so far with them um, with the first part of Dead Reckoning Part One, this franchise is off to a great start, and and yeah, in my opinion, so far this is the best Mission Impossible movie yet, in my opinion, as a matter of fact. So yeah, guys, um. That does it. There you have it. There's my ranking of all seven Mission Impossible movies ranked from worst to best, as a matter of fact. Let me know your ranking down below in the comment section, as a matter of fact. Um, my list is not the right list. It's just my list, and I would love to see your list as well, as a matter of fact. But, but so yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, as a matter of fact. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with your friends because that really help out my channel greatly and also guys those of you guys that are new to the channel I do more than just movies and physical media related content I also do I also play video games and I do Lego related stuff I do all sorts of stuff like that here on the channel so if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube guys Please make sure you go watch a couple of my other videos. Give a couple of my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button. But most importantly, press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And those of you guys that are not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe right after this video, guys. But thank you for doing, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go get ready back to more videos because more videos or on the way sooner rather than later as a matter of fact guys but with that said though guys take care drink water and stay safe and i will see you all in the very next video bye